Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott Sun, Senior Account Representative for GCC Northwest. Today, I'd like to go through the standard basic troubleshooting procedures of a Bosch Rexroth High Response Proportional Valve. The valve that we have here is a standard 0811404603. There's many thousands of these out in the field, and what we're going to use is our valve checker in order to understand the function of this valve. When we first plug in our valve, you'll note that I have a zero command and a zero position. When we move the valve to input a command in, we see that the feedback also follows our input command almost perfectly linear as long as it's very close then we know that the valve is performing per specifications. These are very handy when you go out in the field and somebody says that the valve is not working appropriately. We can plug in our test box and we can run the valve without having the machine turned on. We also can go ahead and pull power and we watch the spool jump to a fail safe position and that happens in about 50 milliseconds. One thing that our box allows you to do is interface between your machine controller and the proportional valve to understand if the valve is following the machine command. So right now, this is just auditing the input command and the spool position. We have a separate box over here which is replicating your machine input command, which is on this case is plus minus 10 volts. So you can see that as we change the input command, like your machine is running, the input command is changing, the spool position is changing, and the spool is moving appropriately. We now know that the valve is responding to the input from the machine command. This box is doing nothing other than monitoring spool position and input command. Another popular valve that we have is the Rexroth 4WR PE10. This valve is primarily used for higher flow applications where a direct acting valve is needed. This particular valve is all ports blocked with a 20% jump based upon input command. So you'll notice that as soon as we give it an input command, we can measure the spool position and the valve jumps out of the neutral position as soon as we give it a command. There are certain design applications where a closed center valve with a 20% overlap will be important for the designer. This valve offers that feature along with a jump out of the neutral position with an input command. Whether you have a 4WR PEH like an 0811404603 or an 0811404803 or a 662 or a 773, GCC has the expertise and technology to help you troubleshoot and support all of your valve needs.